learn how to study. So let's welcome from West Torrance High School, Kathy Chen. Hey, Hi, how are you? I'm good. So I'm, are you ready for school? Yeah, I'm ready to start reading and writing again. Oh my God. And arithmetic or whatever. No. However it goes. No, no, no? I don't like okay. that. Okay. No. <laughs> so have you planned your schedule and what, what's on schedule? Just regular classes. I don't have very many art classes or, you know, extracurricular things this year. I think I'm just trying to uh, graduate. So no drama or anything like that? Oh, yeah, I'm taking one period of that. But okay, okay. Well, then that's kind of an extra activity, that's, right? That's it, though. Plays and stuff like that? Yeah. So what do, what, what do you advise as far as, you know, learning how to study, better study habits? What do you advise? Well, yeah, definitely better study habits. You need to have a system, and it actually, you can really tell the difference because I, w I actually went to summer school, and um, I conducted a test. I asked students um, how they like to study um, and how to get better grades, their tips on better study habits, and um, the first exam I took, I just studied the way I normally would, and I got a B on the test, which is pretty good, but the second test I took, I, um, I followed like what students gave me the tips and their ideas on what to do and I got an A on the test. Good so, for you, good yeah, for you. Yeah, so here's how it works. Location is the first step to better study habits. Finding a place to break open the books is very important. Math and science tutor Virginia Kasuf explains. You have to have your own corner. You have to build up your peaceful corner where you can be more productive. But remember, being too comfortable, like studying on a couch, can also be considered distracting. That's why I like to come here, to the library. It should be ventilated, bright. Uh, if trees are around, you can see trees from your window, that would be fine. If not, the library. Libraries are great for studying because they are quiet and free of distractions. How each student studies varies from person to person. Routine is very good, and if you stay in the routine, you usually will be able to maintain the routine. So uh, try doing that and try doing it with a friend, and you know, this is the time we're going to do it. If you know, as soon as you're done, we're going to go off and go get some uh, donuts and french fries or something. Mm -hmm. That gives you your reward at the end of being good. After a long, hard day at school, getting your brain in study mode is an issue most of us face. It's especially difficult after a long weekend of fun. But no worries, though. Here are some helpful tips on studying. So it's like balancing, you know, your class time, then your study time, your work time, and of course, some time for social. First, set up a homework routine that's best for you. Blocking out time for your classes, you know, blocking out your study time, your work time, and anything else you have going, like sports or you know, extracurricular activities, family responsibilities. And to organize your time, make a pie chart. Each section of the pie chart represents the amount of time you spend on that activity. If they create a schedule for themselves and they stick to it, then they're pretty assured of, um, you know, getting everything done. So now that you've established a quiet place to study and have blocked out a certain amount of time for each subject in school, you're ready to hit the books. We sort of have this like general, you know, rule of thumb that for every unit, um, students should be spending about two hours a week of study time per unit. To learn more about better study habits, there's a Sylvan Learning Center here in Torrance with some great advice. You can reach them at 866-98-TUTOR. Or you can actually log on to the website www.educate.com. This website has a list of learning centers that are standing by to help. Actually, they're across the state of California. Well, thanks, Kathy. Now let's check with Jessica. Jessica, who's up first? Thanks, Julian. I'm here with...